everyone, it's Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to do a recipe for you that is one that is a favorite um, of mine. Um, I'm not everybody enjoys rice pudding, but I do. I it, The older I get, the more I like to try different things. And I tried this recipe a few years ago and I really like it. My daughter and I really like rice pudding and she's coming home for a visit this weekend. So I thought I would make a batch. So I got the recipe for slow cooker rice pudding out of this cookbook. This is one of my favorite cookbooks. I've had it for many, many years. You can tell I've marked a, a bunch of pages, recipes that I use. And also when I cook, um, make a recipe I like, I make notes in the cookbook. So you can see right here, this is the rice pudding page. And I tried this one and I didn't like this recipe at all. So I crossed it off and then I made notes on this page. So to make this recipe, the slow cooker style, which I love because when you make something, um, make rice pudding on the stove, sometimes it takes for a long while and you have to keep an eye on it. It can stick and burn and everything. You take that away when you do it in the crock pot. So this recipe calls for um, two and a half cooks, cups of cooked rice. So what I made a reference to was to turn back to page 587 and use the never fail rice recipe, which is also done in the crock pot, which is awesome. So we start doing that. I've got my slow cooker out here. I've got it on low. And it says to take one cup of long grain rice uncooked, two cups of water, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a tablespoon of butter. Combine all the ingredients in a small slow cooker, cover and cook on low for four to six hours or on high for two to three. I think I'm gonna turn it up um, to high for two to three just because um, I have to put the rest of the recipe together tonight in the crock pot and I want to get it done before I go to bed. Um, it says, or until rice is just fully cooked, fluff with a fork and serve. So I'm going to double the recipe and then we're going to go ahead and make that and then we're going to turn it into the, uh, use it in the um, old fashioned rice pudding recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got, um, since I'm doubling it, it's two cups of rice. I'm just using long grain um, rice, not the quick cook rice, you want the regular rice. Now here's my two cups of water. And then it calls for, since I'm doubling it, oops, that's four cups of water, because I'm doubling it. So, four cups of water, two cups of uncooked rice, and then it calls for um, a teaspoon of salt since it's doubled. There's a teaspoon of salt. You like my um, green salt shaker? I have two sets of these. My mom and I used to go to auctions when she was alive, and we loved to collect depression glass. And this was one of the um, sets. I got one from, I have one, and then my mom had one. When she passed away, I got the second one. I just love them. They're so big, and they're great for cooking. So that's your salt. And then it calls for a tablespoon of butter, since that, um, since it's doubled. There's our tablespoon of butter. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the crock pot for two to three hours on high. I'll check it in about an hour and a half to see if how the rice is cooking, stir it up, and make sure that none of it is sticking since we're doing it on high. And then as soon as it's done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you how we're gonna turn it into the uh, old fashioned rice pudding recipe. So hang tight. So I am back. The rice is cooked. It took exactly two hours on high in the crock pot to cook the rice because we all know that these crock pots these days cook really really fast so we're going to go back flip back to the recipe for the um old-fashioned rice pudding so it calls for two and a half cups of rice cooked so that's already in here and then it calls for and we doubled it so we've got five cups because we're doubling the recipe um, then we've got, it calls for one and a half cups of evaporated milk or scalded milk, 
and then it also calls for two thirds cup of brown sugar or white sugar. Well, I don't have any evaporated milk, I have sweetened condensed milk. So we're gonna use the sweetened condensed milk in place of the evaporated milk, and then we're not gonna add the additional sugar. So I've got the, it's a total of three cups of sweetened condensed milk. Now this will be more liquidy than um, rice pudding that you would do on the stove since this is gonna cook in the slow cooker. So you're gonna see more liquid in it. Okay. And there's your sweetened condensed milk. Like I said, no, no sugar or brown sugar or white sugar since we use the sweetened condensed milk. And then it calls for two teaspoons of vanilla. Now I make my own vanilla since we're doubling, it's four teaspoons. But my vanilla is stronger than the vanilla extract you would buy at the store. So I'm only gonna add three teaspoons of vanilla. And if I decide that it needs more, I can always add that in later. And then it calls for um, two eggs beaten. Since we're doubling. There's your two eggs. Pour those in slowly since that rice is still a little warm. We don't want scrambled eggs in there. And the cat's whining because he heard me open up those cans and he thinks that that's cat food. Even though we've never fed him wet cat food from a can, the people that owned him before us must have because that is one of his things. If he hears a can open, he is immediately out here whining. Okay, so then it calls for a tablespoon, will be two tablespoons of um, soft butter. So go ahead and add those. And this butter's been out at room temperature, so it's pretty soft, and it'll finish melting with that rice since it's already warm. Okay, and then. It calls for one, a half to a teaspoon of nutmeg. Well, I'm going to use pumpkin pie spice instead of just nutmeg because I like cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, all that in my rice pudding to give it some zest. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I think I will add, since it says a half to a teaspoon, I'm going to add a rounded teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. We'll see how that works and I would pick this crock pot up and show you but it's really really hot so give me a minute here and after I get everything added I will use some hot pads and show you what the rice pudding looks like before where we put it in the crock pot to finish cooking and then it calls for a half to a cup of raisins now you can add you can use regular raisins I'm going to use golden raisins or you can also use cranberries cranberries would be really good in this especially around Christmas and Thanksgiving time if you want to make rice pudding with um, cranberries but I'm just going to use regular raisins and I like a lot of raisins in mine so I'm going to go with a full two cups of raisins since it said one and a half or half to one cup for the recipe and we're doubling it. I just think golden raisins are better. Sometimes regular raisins can be kind of dry. So I'm not going to, that's why I like the golden raisins. It's these are what I'm using in case you're wondering. Okay, so here's the raisins. It smells really, really good. It's that pumpkin pie spice that makes it smell so good. Okay, and now it says 
to put it uh, cover and cook on high for two hours or low four to six. I honestly don't think this is gonna take a complete two hours to do on high. I'm gonna put it on low and check it in about two hours. I just don't want it to burn because the crock pots, like everyone knows these days, cook everything so hot that I just don't want it to burn. So let me grab a hot pad and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's, if you can see that, the rice pudding, like I said, it's really liquidy now, but it's gonna absorb that liquid and become a nice, thick pudding by the time it's done. So I'll bring you back when it's all finished so you can finish seeing what our rice pudding looks like. Alrighty, we are all done. The rice pudding looks delicious. It took a little over an hour, it's just ended. a hair over an hour to cook the rice pudding. It's perfect consistency. You saw how liquidy it was before and it absorbed all of that in between the rice and the raisins. And there is the delicious rice pudding. So um, I will leave a, I will put a picture up of the recipe for the rice and for the uh, rice pudding. So go ahead, when you see that come up, go ahead and screenshot it so you have it. And um, there'll be two of them, one for the rice slow cooker rice and one for the slow cooker old fashioned rice pudding. They both came out of this recipe book. So anyway, if you like this recipe and you'd like to see more additional recipes, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you like rice pudding or have made rice pudding or have um, decided since you saw this video that you're going to try it making it yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.